just an intense competitor, a joy to watch in his Hall of Fame career. And Paul Mahler now, hey. the manager of the Minnesota Twins joins us on MLB Tonight. Still getting used to that a little bit. You Is know? it? It takes about, a while? about a month into it. Uh, it's been great, though. You know, it's, uh, it's changed the dynamic of things somewhat, obviously. But... Uh, very privileged and honored to have the Twins uh, go ahead and select me out of a group of some pretty good candidates. You've heard people talk about you as a player, uh, and, and you know how you played. How will you manage? Are there any similarities in terms of the way you attack the game as a player? Well, you know, we all know the game's changed. Uh, we, we've seen how uh, people just do different things, how they fill their time in the clubhouse and how things go. But naturally, as a, a guy from the old school, you're going to bring a certain hopefully a certain intensity to the clubhouse that, you know, you want guys to have fun, but when they start walking down in that tunnel to be ready to play, you want them to have the right mindset to go out there, mindset to go out and compete. Well, my last memory here in San Diego was not a fond one, but it was a joy to pitch against you. I think we have a little video. You're hoping a lot of your guys may be able to do something like this. I think I had one. Uh, I think this is my only appearance in the game, and bam. <laughs> a little rocket. Uh, that was a game that uh, I didn't record an out. Luckily, the guy came behind me and didn't get an out. But but I want to ask you based on. I got to say first, John, I, you had a lot more success in All-Star games than I did. That was my only hit, I think, in All-Star history. So I appreciate that. <laughs> no problem. I think the biggest thing, you know, for Minnesota and the shift that they're in now philosophically and, of course, you know, all the things that made them successful right. internally and all the things that make that organization such a special one, I find, or my question would be expectation-wise, from how you played the game to the way the game is played today, is there a, a balance in how you look and how you feel your way in with regular players, giving them days off, their expectation, and so much? You know, I've been fortunate to be involved in player development and coaching now for a number of years, and I really don't try to go back onto what I did or how I played. You know, everyone kind of has their own thing and their own style. Um, your expectation about work ethic and, and the intensity that you want guys to bring is, is something that's, that's regardless of what your talent level is. And, uh, you know, Ron Gardenhire always used to say it takes, it takes no talent to hustle, you know, and I just expect a good effort from the guys every day. You know, we're going into a situation where we're coming off four rough seasons and we're a little bit of a crossroads, but you know, as you guys know, things can change very dramatically, very quickly if you get the momentum going the right way and you just start doing things uh, in a way that's a little bit more conducive to competing and winning. We got some younger players that are finally getting over the stage of feeling like they need to get established. Now they want to win. There's just a lot of things that I feel that we got going that's going to help us turn this corner. Paul, why now? I mean, with your pedigree and what you've accomplished in the game and your level of intellect, this is something you could have pursued prior to now. So what, why now? Well, you know, Dan, as you know, timing in different roles in your life, different places that you come from and experiences that you go through. Um, I've been fortunate. I, I had a chance to uh, be with the Twins organization primarily since I retired as a player. I've been in player development. I've been a major league coach. I did some broadcasting work. Uh, didn't work out too well. <laughs> but, um, you know, the timing never seemed to be quite right on a personal level and a professional level. And now this particular time, um, the, the opportunity presented itself. And although I'm some 16 years removed from playing, it really was the first time it was a good fit for me. Tell me why Torrey Hunter is a good fit for your club at this stage of his career. Well, you know, obviously the Twins' primary concern uh, in trying to supplement our roster is in the area of pitching. But we had one positional need that was somewhat glaring, and it was a corner outfielder uh, with a right-handed bat and hopefully with good experience. Now, Torrey met our criteria to a, to a T. And you add to the fact that he has history with our organization. Um, he's got the experience and the leadership qualities. And I think he's still got some left in the tank, as we saw last year in his production with the Tigers. So, you know, we couldn't be more excited about having Torrey back in the fold. We're excited to watch you manage. It was fun to watch you play. Yeah. To watch you manage is going to be uh, enticing, okay? You can second guess me with along with the rest <laughs> of as we get going. So I'll have no problem with that. Oh, I'm sure we will. Paul Molitor, manager of the Minnesota Twins. Thanks for your time. All right, man. Good to see you guys. Nice to see you.